So still under methods of solving differential equations, we are going to move on to homogeneous first order differential equations. Now even before that, let's focus on homogeneous functions. So a function of two variables f of x, y is said to be homogeneous of degree n if there is a constant n such that f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n times f of x, y for all lambda x and y for which both sides are defined. Now how do we determine whether a function is homogeneous and if it is homogeneous to what degree? What we simply need to do is to replace x with lambda x and then y with lambda y. So for example, for example, giving the function f of x, y, which is equal to 2x squared plus 3xy plus 4y squared. We are going to replace x with lambda x and then y with lambda y. So we are going to have f of lambda x, lambda y, and that's equal to, we have 2 times, in place of x, we have lambda x, all square, plus 3, in place of x, we have lambda x, in place of y, we have lambda y, plus 4, in place of y, we have lambda y, all square. Now let's proceed. So we are going to have 2 times, we have lambda square, x square plus we have 3 times lambda lambda so lambda square x y plus 4 lambda square y square now at this point you realize that we have lambda square in each term lambda square is common in each term so we can factor out lambda square inside of the brackets we have 2 x square plus 3 x y plus 4y square. Now looking at this, you can see that 2x square plus 3xy plus 4y square is equal to the original function given which is f of xy. Therefore, we can simply say that f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda square times f of xy. Therefore, since f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n times f of x y, we say that the original function, which is f of x y, is homogeneous. Is homogeneous of degree n equals 2. So the original function f of x, y is said to be homogeneous of degree 2 simply because f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power 2 times f of x, y. Now whenever you are given a polynomial function and you are asked to determine whether or not the function is homogeneous, what you need to do is to consider the individual terms in the function. Now for a homogeneous function, each term has the same degree. Each of the terms have the same degree. So considering this term, that is 2x squared. Now the degree on x is 2. Therefore we have this term having a degree of 2. Now again let's consider the term 3xy. Now x has a degree of 1, y also has a degree of 1. Now, because we have the product of these two variables x, y, then we are going to add their exponents. So we have 1 plus 1, which is 2. Therefore, the term 3xy also has a degree of 2. Now, let's move on to 4y square. y has a degree of 2, making this whole term have a degree of 2. Therefore, 4y square also has a degree of 2. Now, since each term has the same degree it follows that this function is a homogeneous function 
and the degree for each term is 2. Therefore, it is a homogeneous function and has a degree of 2. And this is the answer we obtained after solving using this approach. Notice that this only works for polynomial functions. Now, in the case where you have trigonometric functions, logarithmic functions, or better still, exponential functions, try to substitute lambda x in place of x and then lambda y in place of y in the given function to see if you are going to get f of lambda x lambda y equals lambda to the power n times f of x y now if you obtain this expression then you realize that the function is homogeneous and then n also determines the degree of the homogeneous function now in the next section we are going to consider a few more examples now let's try these examples together so let's try these set of examples show whether or not the following functions are homogeneous if yes find the degree so let's try to solve the first one so for question one we have f of x y that is the function equals we have the square root of x to the power eight minus 3x to the power 2, y to the power 6. Now, what we are going to do is to replace, we are going to replace x with lambda x and then y with lambda y. So we have f of lambda x, lambda y, and that is equal to, we have the square root of, in place of x, we have lambda x. All exponent 8 minus 3 in place of x we have lambda x or square and then in place of y we have lambda y all exponent 6 so let's try to expand and then simplify so we have the square root of lambda to the power 8 x to the power 8 minus 3 here we have lambda to the power 2 times lambda to the power 6 so it becomes lambda to the power 2 plus 6 which is 8 so lambda to the power 8 we have x to the power 2 y to the power 6 now in the next step we are going to factor out lambda to the power 8 because it is common to both terms so we have lambda to the power 8 and then into bracket x to the power 8 minus 3 x to the power 2 y to the power 6 now let's move on now according to the laws of sets the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b now we are going to apply this law here so let me just clear this so it means that we can represent this as square root of lambda to the power 8 times square root of x to the power 8 minus 3x squared y to the power 6. Now let's simplify this. So here we can treat this as lambda to the power 8 under the square root is equal to now square roots simply means the exponent is half so we have lambda to the power 8 times 1 over 2 and then 2 goes here once 2 goes here 4 times so this simply becomes lambda to the power 4 so we have finally lambda to the power 4 so this becomes lambda to the power 4 times square root of x to the power 8 minus 3x squared y to the power 6 now you notice that this whole thing here is equal to the original function given so instead of writing this we are basically going to replace that with the function f of xy and that is equal to f of lambda x f of lambda x lambda y now since f of lambda x 
lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n times f of x y it follows that the original function f of x y is homogeneous homogeneous and of degree four now let's move on to the second question that is where we have j of x y equals x square y sine y over x so as usual we are going to replace x with lambda x y with lambda y so we are going to have j of lambda x lambda y that will be equal to in place of x we have lambda x all square in place of y we have lambda y times sine of lambda y over lambda x now let's simplify this so we have lambda square times lambda that becomes lambda cube times x square times y then we have times sine of now here lambda cancels out lambda so we are still left with y over x now you realize that x square y times sine of y over x is equal to the original function j of x y therefore we can simplify this as lambda cube times j of x y and that is equal to j of lambda x lambda y therefore since j of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n times f of sorry times j of times j of x y it follows that the original function j of x y is homogeneous it follows that the original function is homogeneous of degree of degree 3 now let's move on to the last example that is where we have h of x y equals 2 x plus y divided by x square y square so as usual we replace x with lambda x y with lambda y so we are going to have h of lambda x lambda y and that is equal to 2 in place of x we have lambda x plus in place of y we have lambda y all over lambda x all square lambda y all square now this becomes 2 lambda x plus lambda y over lambda to the power 4 so lambda square times lambda square lambda to the power 4 times x square y square now in the numerator we can factor out lambda so let's do that so we are going to have um, let's say we have h of lambda x lambda y and that was equal to 2 lambda x plus lambda y over lambda to the power 4 x square y square okay so let's proceed so we factor out lambda and then we have 2x plus y all over lambda to the power 4 x square y square now let's work on lambda so we can simplify lambda over lambda to the power 4 as lambda exponent 1 that is with this minus so we can bring this up so that becomes minus 4 that is for the exponent and then you realize that 2x plus y divided by x square y square is equal to the original function 
given in the question and that is equal to h of x y so we have h of x y and then you simplify this so that we have lambda to the power negative 3 times h of x y and that is equal to h of lambda x lambda y therefore since h of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power n times h of x y it follows that the original function h of x y is homogeneous is homogeneous homogeneous of degree of degree negative 3 now in the next video in the next lesson we are going to solve homogeneous first order differential equations so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye